10 Tips to Prepare for IELTS Reading Test Part 2 Welcome back to 8.5 IELTS Sharing Community. Hi, it's Alex Shetty again. In the last video, we went by 6 tips to prepare for the IELTS Reading Test. Those were, skim over and watch for the answers, read the instructions very carefully, don't panic, watch your time, read, note and review, practice your writing skills, not IELTS skills. Well, today we've gonna move to tips number 7, 8, number 9, and number 10. Ignore anything you already know about the topic. Remember that, you are being tested on your understanding of the text only, not your own knowledge of the topic. Instead of carefully reading the text, many students use their own knowledge to answer many of the questions. Of course, the result is not good. Don't make assumptions based on your own knowledge. Move to number 8, not doing the test under exam conditions. By doing the test under exam conditions, you put too much pressure on yourself, and you don't give yourself time to reflect on how to answer specific question types, how you answer them, note down common vocabulary, etc. It also does not give you a chance to analyze your mistakes, and then improve them. Once you have practiced several tests slowly, you can then practice them under exam conditions. That is number 8, now we move to tip number 9. Be careful when transferring your answers. In the test, you will be asked to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. A common mistake is to spend too much time on reading and answering questions and leaving very little time to transfer the answers. You should practice with an IELTS answer sheet and see how much time it takes them to transfer their answers. This will allow you to familiarize yourself with the process and have confidence on test A. Tip number 10. Leave no blanks. This might seem one of the most obvious IELTS reading tips, but you would be surprised how many people leave blanks. Even if you don't know the answer, make sure you attempt every question. There are no penalties for incorrect answers, so have a guess. You might get lucky, and you have nothing to lose. You'll always find a mix of advice on ways to approach the reading test. A common complaint from students studying for the test is that one teacher told me to do it this way, but another told me to do it this way. But this is fine, people read in different ways, and what works for one person may not work for another. Listen to the advice, try both ways, and do whatever works best for you.